here today to um, give everyone sort of a virtual tour, a, a video footage of the police department as of 2007. Um, just go down through each room. I'll just go ahead and describe the working arrangements and living working quarters of each, each area. So if you want to come on with me, we'll go down. Come on in. This is the front lobby area, which you have to stand outside to, to um, get an idea. This is where people stand, and um, this is our desk where they fill out statements and whatnot. It's an old candy machine. Um, and there's just some other forms and things like that, some mapping when people come in and ask for directions, we deal with them off the board. And with the security area, we have one keypad to come on in and um, here you can see it's a very long hallway that leads into some various rooms. So out in the front here yeah. just inside of the front lobby area we have where we um, answer to any calls to a, a base radio. And then our this is sort of our print room slash um, computer room where our server and a lot of the printing and some filing by copy or um, access up into the attic. Um, so this is where all the offices will gather their reports after they've been printed. Uh, this room here is the largest room that we're able to use here at the station. There's two terminals here now. Um, after some sev several upgrades, we've been able to utilize as much space, closed off a door, and um, it's, so it's a, two terminals, the kitchen area, and our conference room for 12, 12 offices. So. Um, my office. Um, yeah, there's some bookshelves and some stuff piled piled about because I just have no place to put anything in any longer. Um, I have my own terminal in here at the workstation. When we go in here, I'll go around to the next door. This here is our booking room. Um, we've put in a separation divider to separate the offices from people who we detain in here. Um, and when I say detain, we're only able to detain him for a short period of time. We have no cells, we have no restraint systems other than a pole here that we handcuff him to. Um, from there we need to bring him in for any, for the high charts, we have to unhandcuff him to get pictures and whatnot. It becomes a concern of me of them pushing stuff off at the officer, throwing things at the officer. So an officer safety issue here is, is number one concern. Uh, it's not set up as a booking room. This is just uh, a, room. a converted office room is all this is. So, uni sex slash Everything, locker room, bathroom, um, this is open to the general public as well as male, female offices and personnel. Uh, I don't think anyone today would really want to work in the same environment that we have to deal with. Sometimes unruly, sometimes sick, sometimes intoxicated individuals. Um, so this is what we have here as well for uh, bathroom facilities and locker rooms. Uh, just a work table for uh, some of our equipment, radios. We often call those as devices that they can strike us with as we're coming through, push down. But that's what we've been able to make do at this point in time. This here exits us out into the Sally Port or garage area. 
offices will bring their uh, people who are detaining or who are under arrest in here and secure them in here. You can see lockers and storage cabinets wall to wall, all the way around. Um, I think we've utilized every inch of space that we possibly can. This goes into the boiler room. We've got to make sure that this is open at all times so that any fire hazards or uh, concerns that can get into the air. So that you can't close that off to utilize any more space. The only other room that we have is a storage room or wash, wash basin. Um, and as you can see, we pretty much packed it in with as, as much stuff as we can as well. So, unfortunately, pretty much uh, concludes our tour of the police department. Um, I guess I ask for anyone interested in participating in the building team to uh, get in touch with me at 887-3887. I encourage all members to get involved in this project uh, in March election. They support the new police department that we're working on. Thank you for your time.